Hello all, welcome to Autobot YouTube channel. Myself Rahul Nishan. Today we are going to learn about one important activity in UiPath, and this is one activity which doesn't get much importance within the RPA developer. I'm not sure why most of the developers are not using this activity, but this is a very useful activity if you are going to develop some automation based on the dates. Okay, so the activity is nothing but that is a modified date. So a modified date. What is the usage of this modified date? It finds relative days with operations including adding or subtracting days, finding the first or last day of the month, etc. Right. So just consider, I want to get some day, or I just want to um, uh, find the next working day based on some particular date. Right. So uh, I'm I'm just taking uh, today as the day, and if I want to find the next Monday or next Tuesday. How I can do? Either I need to write some expression for doing that, but instead of that, UiPath is directly providing a ready-made activity which helps for doing all these um, actions on the dates, right? So let me drag and drop this activity, and let's go deep into this activity and understand what are the features of this activity. So here, what we need to do is we need to provide a, a date, okay? We need to provide an input date. And based on that input date, we can do lot of actions. Okay, so it means so if you go to add modification here, you can see find next bar previous day of week. Okay, so it means it will help to find the uh, first day of that particular week. Okay, and add bar subtract time period to that particular uh, date, and find start bar end of week, uh, month or year. Okay, so for testing purpose i'm just giving it like um, no okay now is nothing but that that will take the current date time of my system right and i'm just adding a modification this is not an important field okay this is not an important field so if i'm going to add a modification okay so let me add it like okay i need to add a uh, date or a date to this particular uh, current date so what i need to do so okay so i choose the action as a uh, day uh, add and i'm going to add the value uh, 3 okay and uh, time unit is day and if you want to choose some particular thing like whether days you want to add or based on weeks that you want to add or months you want to add year that you want to add that you can choose uh, based on your requirement and uh, this is one important activity which will be helpful if you are going to do lot of uh, manipulation based on these dates okay so just consider uh, today's date is 4th of august okay i just want to find out some uh uh week after some four weeks after this particular day how what i can do i can give this uh week okay that is that will be very helpful instead of adding the day uh, it will add the week week to the particular uh uh a date that i have provided as an input so just consider here i am given day okay and today's date is 4th of august and if i go to test click on this test okay it will give 7th of august okay so it has added three days to the input date that is 7th of august as the output so here just consider if i am choosing week go to test test okay it is giving 25th of august because it has added uh, three weeks to the value which I have provided and which is pro uh, uh, add to the date which I have provided that is a current date okay and this is one important uh, feature that is uh, available with this uh, activity because here uh, directly we can check the functionality of uh, all these uh, feature that is available with this activity and we can uh, find the uh, accuracy of the activity okay like uh, if we want to do some changes to the data that we can directly test it over here and we can add it to the automation okay so that is one thing and here these three uh, modifications are available uh, and uh, just consider um, okay i'm giving find start bar uh, end of week bar month bar year okay so here i have given uh, now is the date let me delete it okay so just give it as first day first day of this particular week okay or first day of the month so it should give uh, 1st of august as the day right 
So first of August. Or just consider if I want to find the first day of this particular week, right? So it should give 31st of July. Okay. So it, it will be starting from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, right? So uh, 31st July is the uh, first day of this particular week. Okay. So this is very much helpful and we can get the result over here. So let me create a output result. So let me name it like a result. Okay, so that variable is already existing. So I'm just choosing that. Okay, and uh, the result will be coming in a result variable. And here the another important uh, feature is like you can choose a format of the output uh, that you want. Okay, suppose <coughs> if here I have given now as the input variable, and if you want a particular format, you can choose it from here. Or if you want to customize the format, you can click on this use custom format and you can write the expression over here. Okay, uh, so here let me choose this as a format. Okay, let me add a message box. Use set. Okay, let me try to execute. Okay, so the result is coming as a Sunday, July 31st, 2022. So that is the first day of this particular week. Okay, and let me go to the property of this activity. Uh, here you can see Okay, so the custom date format that you can choose. So if you enable this, you can provide the custom date format over here and the date format whatever the date format that you want to choose that you can choose if you uh, it's like a uh, like this format which format that you want to choose that you can choose over here and uh, uh, if you enable it uh, as format output as test you cannot use use custom date format okay okay it will throw uh, you must define a date format okay uh, so it's like uh, if you want to use use custom date format you must uh, declare a uh, custom date format over here okay and uh, here uh, two outputs are there one is save result as date time and uh, another is save result as text so if you declare a variable for uh, save result as text you cannot use this uh, uh, output over uh, here also save result as a date time otherwise you'll have to uh, declare a output variable as uh, in the daytime format okay and another important feature which i notice over here is um, find next but previous day of a week okay so th this is another important uh, feature of this activity so just consider if you are working on some project which involves some delivery of some item okay uh, so just consider if it is a flip card okay so in Flipkart, if the delivery date is automatically generated or the customer is provided like uh, a Saturday or Sunday, which is a non-working day, right? On that particular day, delivery cannot happen. So uh, if you are working on some automation, which uh, she is looking into all these things and it need to modify some date to the near nearest working day, right? So what you can do, it can take the date which the customer has inputted, okay? And from there, it has to take the next Monday. Monday means if the user has provided uh, the date as a Sunday, it will take the nearest Monday date and that date it can modify it to the delivery date. Okay, so uh, this will be very much helpful if you are working on uh, some automation which uh, based on this kind of uh, uh, date manipulation or some uh, date editing based on some delivery or something. Okay, uh, I hope you got a clear understanding about uh, this activity and the usage of it. If you find it difficult or if there is any confusion regarding this, please do comment in the comment section. I will help you out to uh, give more clarity on this activity. Okay. So if you are watching this video for the first time, please like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Bye.